Is Kendall Jenner hopping in the lady pond? Ooh, plus Gigi Hadid is trying to force Zayn back into One Direction. Oh, while Justin Bieber is flying his secret girlfriend out to his purpose tour. <laughs> oh, that is a lot of drums, and we have got the truth coming at you on Rumor Patrol. Bam! You guys, welcome back to Rumor Patrol. I'm so excited to be back with you guys. It's been kind of like a crazy week. Yeah, right? it has. We need a little bit of excitement in our life. It's true. I'm yeah. Jocelyn Davis, by the way. This is Ryland Adams, mm -hmm. the man, the myth, the legend. And tomorrow is Father's Day. What are you doing for your daddy? Well, <laughs> my daddy. <laughs> Jocelyn, that seems so inappropriate. Daddy. My dad is in Colorado, so I'm just going <laughs> to mail him a little gift, give him a little FaceTime action, and then hopefully go next month for my mom's birthday. And then I'll be like, happy oh. late Father's Day. That is so but cute. You're gonna be around Papa Davis, I'm sure. Papa Davis. <laughs> or Daddy Davis. I've literally never called him either of that, those. I call him Phil. Hello, Phil. Weird. Um, yeah, gonna be hanging out poolside with that dude tomorrow. <laughs> Pretty excited. Happy Father's Day to those of you who are watching who have children, mm -hmm. which is probably two of you. Um, and let's hop into the rumors. Okay, Ryland, kicking it off with rumor number one, and this is one that I mean, I did not see coming, <laughs> nor do I still see happening, but Kendall Jenner hopping in the lady pond? Ooh, oh, all right. Let's so, love affair? What's going on? I mean, this is all coming as speculation after she hasn't dated a guy in a while, which what? is kind of, I mean. What, being single? I mean, I I have been a huge lesbian for years. Well, I mean, that's the case. well, we can't. We just can't, as as public eyes, think that a girl can be happy on her own without a man, which is kind of sick. But these are coming from lots of different sources that Kendall Jenner is actually a lesbian. Can you believe it? I, okay, what are the sources? <laughs> like, break down the sources, because if there's some of the sources we use on the show, then I don't believe it. But well, continue. Uh, well, last week's speculation about Demi Lovato being a lesbian okay. was the center of the show. Mm -hmm. Now it's Kendall Jenner. So last that we did hear of her dating somebody was Harry Styles. Okay. It was back over the holidays. It was the same time that she was caught kissing on a yacht, the same yacht that they were sharing with Ellen oh, and Portia de Rossi, right. which was super casual. And then reports from Us Magazine claim that Kendall is actually a lesbian and captivated by her longtime BFF, Cara Delevingne, saying that the two have been longtime friends and refer to themselves as cake. Then OK Magazine included a quote from a source claiming that Kendall is openly gay among her close pals and her best pal, Cara, is helping her to accept herself, saying Kendall is a lesbian. She's only just started talking about it with her inner circle. So Kara, quote, reassured Kendall that the stigma of being gay is gone and encouraged her to allow herself the freedom to be who she really is. Okay, I mean, listen, hey, if this is true, more power to her. I think she should be able to come to terms with who she is on her own terms and we should let her do this. So if mm -hmm. this is true, more power oh, to awesome. her. Do I mean, you. she is the most private Kardashian Jenner totally. sister. We never really hear about her personal life. She isn't like Kylie who flaunts her personal mm -hmm. life. Um, but they did continue by saying her feelings have only gotten deeper and Kendall is captivated by Kara. However, Kara has been dating St. Vincent mm -hmm. for over 11 months, almost a year now. And sources are actually saying that she might be getting married wow, to St. Vincent. They're saying exciting. that they were at the Eiffel Tower and it was a very romantic moment, although the two haven't confirmed that speculation. Okay. So I guess uh, Kendall isn't actually involved with Kara, but mm -hmm. maybe Kara, if this is true, helped Kendall, Kendall realize that Who she, she was, is or how that she she was to live dabbling life. in the lady pond. You know what I'm saying? I don't know. I think so many things about this are so complex. Like you said, the media is unable to accept the idea that any female can go without a man mm -hmm. and be happy. That is 100% <laughs> true. Um, and number two, like maybe it was a slow news week. I don't know. Or number three, maybe this is true. And good on you. Also, Enjoy your it, life. Is it really any of our business? I feel like everyone's on a spectrum. It matters where you lie. Maybe she's in the middle. Maybe she likes both. Maybe she likes men. Maybe she likes women. Who knows? Oh, until she's so we see her. Pretty. <laughs> she oh, is so oh pretty. Gosh, she's so beautiful. And until we see her actually kissing a girl in public like she was kissing Harry Styles on a yacht, this rumor is so. False. False. All right, I'm dying <laughs> over this rumor. Is it true that Justin Bieber flew his secret girlfriend out to his Purpose World tour? Oh my <laughs> gosh, it's not Rumor Patrol without a Bieber rumor. So guys, mm -hmm. I don't know if you recall, but maybe a few weeks ago, mm -hmm. Justin went on a date here in Beverly Hills with Transformers actress Nicola Peltz, who is gorgeous, oh, by the way. Oh, such a hottie. So it seems like he's officially definitely moving on from Haley Baldwin and 
and Selena Gomez, which was so last season. But never forget. And a lot of people thought like, oh, this is just like a little one-time thing. Like he's just dating because that's what you do when you're single. And PTW. when you're Justin Bieber and yeah. can date anyone you want, Justin could literally be in a room and be like, you. And they're like, all right. Yeah. So they, they go on this date and no one really thought anything of it until sources were saying that he was flying his secret girlfriend to Canada. And apparently this actually happened. So Justin got into kind of a brawl. He did yeah. get into a brawl. With a in man Cleveland six foot five. With this gigantic man. Man, by the, the confidence way. though. I'm sorry. I don't think <laughs> Justin and the two of us together could have taken that man down. No. I just imagine all of us flailing on his shoulders, but good for him. Good for yeah. Him trying, I guess. Also, I think Justin flying somebody out to a different country or even state is kind of just like us taking somebody to a nice dinner. It doesn't you know really what? matter that does to his bank in account. So in perspective of Justin's life, him just flying a girl somewhere isn't a as crazy big of a deal. thing. I never thought about if it. If like I that. flew somebody somewhere, that would, would be, be like, like we're getting married. Yeah, like no. mom, <laughs> plan the wedding. Exactly. We're such peasants. <laughs> um, anyways, so he flies his secret girlfriend out to Canada. Some people are saying maybe to like help get his mind off of what had happened in mm -hmm. Cleveland because that was clearly Awful. no bueno. Um, anyways, they were spotted in Toronto at the CN Tower. And Ooh. now sources, uh, Radar Online specifically, said they reportedly first met last month. Not much has been heard of from them. Apparently it's serious. And then Hollywood Life adds that Nicola is close friends with Gigi Hadid and also knows Haley Baldwin. Justin met Nicola a while ago, a couple of times while going out around in LA. They never hooked up, the timing was never right. He has been crushing on Nicola since the first day he laid eyes on her, and he has always wanted her. Get in line, homie. I mean, it She's is, gorgeous. yeah, it makes sense. She's a gorgeous girl, and when Justin is such a superstar, he can't be on like Tinder or Bumble like the rest of us peasants. So. I don't <laughs> think I could get on those sites if I tried to, not that I have. You've never been on one? No, for my Myself? No, I'm, Jocelyn, I'm we, hyper parent. I know, but we should just, it would be so fun. Imagine the fun we would have in your office just swiping all day oh, long. Oh, yeah. Imagine <laughs> all the cartoon characters that would want to hang out with me. Anyways, <laughs> so apparently Gigi, this is totally rumored according to Hollywood Life, Gigi is telling Nicola, like, don't date him. He's going to mm. break your heart. But even though you're right, like, if you fly someone on a private jet and you're Justin Bieber, it doesn't mean as much if you're, like, me flying someone on Southwest somewhere. <laughs> right. Um, <laughs> but as the girl or as the other person in the situation, I would absolutely never fly to someone unless I was like into it. Really into Ever. it. Because that's taking a pause on your life to enter somebody else's space and their life. It's a big kind of commitment even if they're not in a relationship. I So are they secret boyfriend, girlfriend? This rumor is totally... Maybe. Maybe. It's cute. And you guys, for our final rumor of the week and one that I'm like praying into reality, is it true that Gigi Hadid is like trying to get Zayn to go back to One Direction for his own health. Wait, are you praying it's coming into reality just because you want One Direction back? Yeah, and I want Zayn in One Direction. Why don't you like him solo? You get more of him if he's solo, or maybe not since he's canceling concerts. Yeah, exactly, Rylan. He needs his boys, he needs his lads, he <laughs> well, needs the guys of 1D. All right, Jaws, well, you know the two of them, Gigi and Zayn, were Splitsville, USA, like a couple of days ago. And Are then, they back on? Uh, right now, they're back on. But by Everyone, the time we watch this, <laughs> who we don't knows? Know. We don't know. <laughs> Everyone's reporting something different, and then the two of them are also sending cryptic messages on social media. So none of us can ever tell if they are or if they aren't. But you do remember just a couple of days ago, Zayn canceled his performance at the Capital FM Summertime Ball in London. And then he posted on Twitter saying, I cannot apologize enough, but I want to be honest with everyone who has patiently waited to see me. I promise I will do my best to make this up to everybody I let down today. So then Gigi, she fired quickly back on Twitter, writing basically a personal message that she had written in her notes and posted it to Twitter, adding Zayn, saying that she stood by him and mm -hmm. she's so proud of him for being honest with her fans and she respects him. And to me, I don't really know why she posted this on social media. It seemed more of something that she would send directly to him. Like it wasn't something for the world to see. So that makes me think she's sending that to the public being like, oh, we are together. I do stand by my man and, and we're she, official. Maybe she also wants like the support of Zayn fans and people 
sort of reaching out more to him. Maybe that's meant to like conjure up more love. Oh, I just don't know how I feel about it. But then Hollywood Life, they then reported that Gigi, she's all about Zayn getting back into One Direction because the anxiety, mm -hmm. it had never set in when she was performing with the group. It was okay. all happened after he became the solo man. So the source close to Hollywood Life said Zayn can't get it together on his own. He is more comfortable in the group. He is great in the studio alone, but performing for large crowds is too much for his anxiety. Gigi's advice has been for Zayn to get back together with the guys to do some touring, and once he feels better, venture off onto his own career again. But my problem with this is uh, Gigi, there's four other guys in One Direction. They all can't just come together because Zayn has anxiety. And also, it has they're to on be an like indefinite hiatus already, so you're yeah. gonna have to wait for a long time. Here's what I think he should do, since I'm an expert in the music world, not. He should just get a band. Or like yeah. have like people behind him on stage, maybe like standing closer to him or like more involved in the music. Right. And talk about them more. Or he could pull a Joe Jonas and start like a DNCE, but mm -hmm. a Zayn NCE. <laughs> Zane. And then he can have like other people on stage. Because even with DNCE, like let's face it, that's just Joe Jonas and some other people. <laughs> right. Like, I'm But he's accompanied real. by them, but so he feels yeah, like he's, he's a part of a group. a group. Maybe Zayn should do that. It would make him feel like more at ease. I agree. I, I don't suffer from anxiety myself, but I can't imagine what it would be like no. to go solo yeah. after being so famous and having to perform for that many people. So I can't even imagine and then being that honest with your fans, actually admitting to them that's mm -hmm. why you're not performing. But then at the same time, I could understand him canceling that performance after all of the bad sh Yes. that had happened last, the prior week. Like, I wouldn't want to get up and perform in front of that many people with that, that many crazy things happening in the world. So and I get if you it. And if you were suffering from anxiety, I can only that would imagine it. how much that would heighten it. Mm -hmm. So I totally get it, and good for him for being honest. I think a lot of people are in similar shoes yeah. and really connect with that and respect it. So. He, he could just, he needs to do whatever he wants. To. Yeah, I agree. Uh, but Gigi saying he should get back into One Direction was like, eh, no, because there were multiple interviews after he had left One Direction of him actually bashing being in the band. He was like, I was so unhappy there. I wasn't fulfilled. Mm -hmm. It wasn't good for my life. And then when he left the band, he was like, oh, RCA actually treated me like a real artist. It felt so good. I had written a lot of my own songs and I felt like my own person and an original and it was great. And she really cares about him, clearly regardless of whether or not they're together mm -hmm. at the time this video comes out. <laughs> so I'm sure she just wants for him whatever's uh... going to make him happy. So do we think that she's trying to force them back into One Direction? This rumor's mm, totally false. false. But hey, I'd love a reunion tour, thanks. <laughs> well, that was a quickie. <laughs> quick little episode of the Art Pizzle. Yeah, but sometimes you just need a little quickie. Get in, get out, have a good time. Get some rumors, get in, get out. Yeah, like what you said. <laughs> yeah. um, you guys, we have questions for you. So you many guys questions. Are the experts. Actually, an, a longtime friend of mine, uh -huh. who's also a red carpet dude, Chris Tronson, Ooh. said that the fangirls of the world are the most insightful people out there, and that he said if he dies, if he goes missing. He is counting on the fangirls <laughs> to find him because y'all know the most. What is up? So it's what's your true. question, Jocelyn, why I think of mine? Why I conjure mine up? I'm just curious to know, what do you guys think? Like Justin and Nicola, do you think maybe this is going to turn into something? Or is this just like a casual PJ, private jet? <laughs> casual? Just I don't know. PJ. I think it's casual for now. I don't think Justin's ready to be locked down He's to another so lady lover. But I also want to know what you guys think about Gigi and Zayn. Do you think they're back together? And do you think Gigi is forcing him to get back in one direction or do you think maybe she can cure his anxiety i don't know you guys so many questions hit the comment section help us out let us know what you think and you know what go give your dad a hug give your dad a hug and we'll be back here every single saturday thanks for watching bye bye but wait 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 before you go click to the left to get the details on taylor and calvin's cat custody dispute or, or hold up you can click over to the right to get all the details on tyga stealing two million big ones from kylie jenner whoa